hey what's happening guys this is Tito back with another video and today in this video i'm going to show you how to flash the firehound rom which is based on android 8.1 on redmi note 3 so without further any more delay let's flash it and see how is it so first you need to download the rom from this xda thread and download gapps from this website I will recommend you flashing micro G apps only because Google camera related apps might not work if you flash any other smaller G apps like Pico or Nano. So only flash micro G apps and I will give direct link for these in the description box below. So do not worry. So as I have downloaded the ROM and G apps file on my phone and as you can see I am on nitrogen OS right now. So let's boot the phone into TWRP recovery. Before proceeding, make sure you have backed up everything from your phone, you have officially unlocked bootloader and TWRP recovery installed and do this on your own risk. So now as I am booted up into official TWRP recovery 3.0.2/2. So now hit wipe, then advanced wipe. Now check cache, Dalvik cache, system and data as usual. Now swipe to wipe. Once done, go back, go back, hit install, now locate the ROM and gapps file. Select them and swipe to confirm flash. Once done, hit reboot system. Do note that first boot can take up to 4-5 to five minutes so do not worry. Here is the boot animation of Firehound ROM in case you are interested. Now let me complete the setup process. So let's just set the Google Now launcher as of now. Later I will be using the modded pixel launcher anyway. Here are the stock apps for this ROM. Except for UC browser and Google wallpaper app. They are there because I am restoring my Google app data backup. As you can see we have GC Mod 5 as the default camera app in this ROM which is quite a move right there because portrait selfies are working fine right after flashing this ROM. So now let's jump into the settings, system and about phone. Here we have the Firehound version, tapping on it doesn't do anything. As you can see based on Android 8.1 Oreo. The kernel version shows Lineage OS. So I am a little worried about the battery life but I'll test it out later and tell you guys on Twitter so do follow me there from the descriptions. In gestures we have the option to double tap the power button to launch camera. So now let's jump into the customizations in this ROM which lies inside ashes in the settings and for some reason it says light your weed here in the bottom which I will not recommend you doing. So from here as you can expect we can customize the status bar itself and lot of other things. You can enable or disable status bar icons from here. I will just disable network traffic monitor because I use internet speed meter app. From here you can enable quick pull down, smart pull down if you want to and even enable brightness control from status bar which works fine by sliding a finger on the status bar like this. From indicators you can enable or disable bluetooth battery information and 4G icon. I don't know what this sticker does so moving on. Next you have carrier label and battery bar. So that's it for the status bar. Next is quick settings panel customizations. From here you can customize the tile column and row numbers. From here you can enable vibrate on touching quick toggles and other stuff. From here you can set custom headers for quick settings panel like this. From here you can control notification LED and some other stuff. From lock screen you can customize it to quick unlock right after you enter the pin or change quick access apps. 
from recents you can enable memory bar or even this clear all button from hardware buttons of course you can customize the actions of hardware buttons or even disable them completely if you want to and you can enable advanced reboot option too which works like this it directly boots into recovery or system or bootloader and next we have navigation buttons which enables on screen buttons which looks like this and we have the firehound logo as the home button pretty cool stuff but i don't use on screen buttons so i'm gonna disable them anyway next we have other customization options in miscellaneous things get a little interesting here we have pocket detection three finger screenshot gesture which works pretty well and face auto unlock which is actually the instant face unlock all right so now let me set up the face unlock to do that go to settings now security scroll down to smart unlock now add trusted face make sure you have flashed micro g apps for this so now let me set it up like this and it works fine as you can see it unlocks almost instantly here is a demo of geo 4g vault e calling working Here is the expanded volume panel for this ROM which I have not seen ever like from here you can control media, alarm, ring, call, bluetooth, basically every volume from the same place. The little transparency over the quick settings panel of Android 8.1 is present here and we have a toggle option to enable or disable heads up over here. I like this vault logo in this ROM. Now let me open up the camera and take a quick picture with GC Mod 5. Here we have an app which I think is basically a OT updater for this ROM. I am not sure that right now if it works or not because it says there was a problem while checking for updates. Here are the end to end Geekbench scores if you are into that. Now let me open up a few apps to test out the RAM management. As you can see all the apps were in memory so that's pretty much a 10 out of 10 from me. The ROM is smooth enough for daily driving and everything like FPC fingerprint scanner, camera, vault e, Wi-Fi, data works fine. And only thing which is not working here is native video calling. I am yet to test out the battery life, I'll do it as soon as I can and I'll post it on Twitter so do follow me there from the descriptions. And if you have made it this far, do hit that like button and hit that red subscribe button because we are going to be almost 2000 people strong and do hit that bell icon to get notified each time a new video goes live on KTN Tech. So that wraps up this video guys, thank you so much for watching, hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you love my work. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.